whatever goes on on my screen along with my voice is now getting recorded and we will soon upload that video as well for you there is only one problem it's difficult to record video on both screens so whatever i show on this screen you will only hear the audio i will not have the video there but it's okay so let's take a quick uh, poll here so there are different like he is from learning and development i want to know which are the different kinds of roles which are represented here one is learning and development anything else sales sales and marketing yeah. finance yeah. consulting yeah. few people i already met so hr hr quality anyone quality six sigma lean anything of that sort all right what else manufacturing finance finance yes Look, how many finance people okay what else it of course how many it people okay good anything else i'm missing here sorry inventory inventory what else good enough so we have a good mix what is the commonality among all of us no no different roles do different things fair enough what is the common thing among all of us people are equal okay in the context of today's session what is common that's what i'm asking you all of us use office thank you we all have many other similarities we don't want to go there so now coming to office of course we have limited time so what is the first most important question any audience wants to know when a session starts doesn't matter what the topic is doesn't matter how long the session is doesn't matter what the topic is what is the first thing audience wants to know yes okay i'll cover that i was talking about something else but we will cover that and i will take similar poll also from people but what i was saying is a very simple question nothing to do with the topic when is the next break don't you want to know that ha <laughs> huh, so i want to know what time is it it's 7:45 first break is at 11:45 and what do we get there <laughs> No, no. Is it snacks or uh, lunch? That's what. No, it's snacks. Snacks. Okay. And is there a lunch break? Two o'clock. Two o'clock after the end of the session. So now you are clear. Yeah. So now your targets are set. <laughs> All right. I won't ask you the menu. Don't worry. Okay. So like he rightly said, maybe some of you have come with very specific questions or ideas in mind. So like he mentioned, is there anything upfront you want me to cover? So I'll make sure I cover that, irrespective of whether I had originally planned for it or not. so like he mentioned how to use powerpoint to create learning content and do assessments fair enough anything else any product anything you need not tell me now you can tell me any time later also but if it's top of the mind you already know it that's why i'm asking you so i don't miss it pivot table yeah what about it how to use it or some specific detail okay fine fair enough all right so as whenever you get ideas you keep telling me but irrespective of what we do we are going to be using these products right word excel powerpoint outlook one note how many use one note okay okay how to use mail merge sure 
actually that's more word than outlook but yes it can work with word as well uh, outlook as well okay so your latest which one link yeah mix mix yes yes that goes with powerpoint in fact that answers this question actually and how many of you use or know about sharepoint only one two okay fine so like one node only one person raised hand so that's why microsoft chose the brand name called one note because wherever i ask this question in any, any country only one person raises hands okay so because we have limited time i cannot devote equal amount of time to all these products so we have to evolve what is most popular amongst this audience so what do you want first or more priority to the order doesn't matter but more time spent on what yeah of course all topics i will cover but how much weightage to give to each i am asking as an audience to absolutely outlook more okay i am asking what first no those products we are not using i have to cover anyway because like i said you don't know what you are missing so i will show you what it is then you take a call whether you need it or not so leave aside right now one note link and sharepoint talk about the others which you already are using for years amongst those what is first excel is first okay after that outlook okay after that okay so we are in the correct order right now the others we will see so did you notice how i changed the order so don't look at me there is nothing <laughs> worth looking at me please look at the screen because i show so many things so fast if you don't ask me a question i am assuming you know it and i am not going to answer the question if there is no question i don't answer so i will show you again normally if you have to re adjust or rearrange something you would do copy paste or drag drop agreed and i am using a third method which one is better your method or my method why is it better just because i am on this side of the table no. then what is good about it it's quick and others have disadvantages suppose i do cut and then i do paste this happens you have to press one extra enter and then you have to press one extra delete and similar thing can happen with drag drop the issue is these things have happened so many times to us we don't even think it is inefficient because it has become part of life when you get habituated to something you stop thinking about it agreed agree. so lot of bad habits not even bad habits inefficient practices if i would like to call it we have accepted over so many years as far as office is concerned we don't think about it we don't notice it nobody else is noticing it and that's why everyone is adding to everyone else's chaos so like i said i have been doing this for a long time now let me show you a quick introductory slide now obviously i am not just going to have one slide let me go to another presentation which has 196 slides but i am not going to show you all of them don't worry so this is what i do last month so now after having interacted with so many people when i say so many people like you have around 50 people here i'm talking about face to face interactive sessions i'm not talking webinars i'm not talking anything online so what is the conclusion at the end of it a one line conclusion about what i've learned about how people use office worldwide is across 14 countries all kinds of different segments small medium business enterprise multinational local government everything put together can you guess can you show the demonstration again how you suffer the i will i will i will do that i will do that but first this one this is important after having interacted with so many people what is the conclusion i have drawn 
that we know. I am saying something we don't know. Fill in the blanks, one word. It's not a technical word. That is a conclusion. You may not agree with me right now, but as we go ahead, you will realize that. So is this sounding like a good news or a bad news? Even if you trust me or don't trust me right now, doesn't matter. But as you face value, is it sounding like good news or bad news? Very bad news, correct? By the way, I must appreciate all of you coming in such large numbers because India is the only country where people are willing to come out and learn on a Saturday. I go to so many countries, many times I have nothing to do because I am there for two weeks and Saturday, Sunday is empty for me. So I tell my organizers, please arrange something. I will not even charge you because anyway I am idling there. Get someone to learn. Nobody comes. India is the only country. <laughs> hmm? Yes. <laughs> So anyway, this just keep it in mind right now and I am not saying this is a bad news. This is the best news you have ever received because if you have learned what is problem solving techniques, the first step in problem solving is to understand that there is a problem. Whether you acknowledge it, accept it, that also comes step two or three. First at least be aware that this can exist and then you can investigate and find out whether it's true or not. If it is true, you will take action. But if you don't even know the problem exists, then you are not going to do anything about it. So trust me, this problem exists. So just to show you that if I do this, like this, and if you had never seen this, lifelong you would be copy pasting and drag dropping without even realizing there is a third better method. Now that you know there is a eminently better way of doing it, what will you do next? You will ask me or you will learn? Yeah, but I won't tell you. Then you will have to find. But can you forget the fact that there is a third method now? Every time you do drag drop or copy paste, you will curse me and then yourself for not knowing it. Me for not telling you and you for not knowing it. So sooner or later, you will be tempted to find it. Because our brain is very, very smart. If you know there is a better way, why would anyone want to use a worse way? Logic, no logic, correct? So what is the shortcut? Can anyone tell me? We have lots of prizes separately. No select. Did I select? Come on, take a, take a chance. Guessing is a method of learning, by the way. I cannot use up and down arrow because that moves the cursor. Everyone knows that. So what are the other modifier keys? There is control and how, what are the three keys which don't do anything by themselves? There is control and then shift and there is alt. So some combination of them will work, correct? Now that combination I am not going to tell you, that you have to find. Come on, do something. Okay, so now that I have told you this, have you learnt it? At least you have got the hint at least. Fair enough? Okay, so let me tell you. Shift, Alt, Up and Down. Don't write it down. You already learnt it. Now, even though I have told you this, you would use it in PowerPoint or OneNote, you would not use it in Word. So now this red paragraph I want to move up. Will our thing work? That time it was a single word. This is a paragraph. So will it work or not? What do you think? What should I do now? If I have to attempt to try this here. What should I do? Select the paragraph. Okay. Yes. And surprisingly, it works. Surprised? I am surprised because did I ask you to select? I explicitly said just now, do not select. But everyone thought, first select to karna chahiye. Why do you understand this? Risco means office. 
because we are always fighting with office we are never in good terms with office everything you do it misbehaves wrong things happen undo happens lot of manual work goes into getting what you want and it still looks bad so the experience for so many years has been so disgusting that we are not in good terms it's not our friend it's not telling us you are telling many things yeah fair enough error aata hai kuch kuch hota hai so the idea is you do not have to select just stay in the paragraph and then use the shortcut why because you look at it suppose word was a human being and the cursor is in that paragraph and someone was telling me move this what will i move there is nothing to move if only cursor had to be moved people would have press up arrow and down arrow correct so when i say shift control up that means i have to move something bigger what is bigger what is the granularity in word paragraph so it automatically selects the paragraph so it's logical easy so far so good very good so now think of another place in word where you would not use it in spite of knowing all this what does word contain text which we just saw what else does word contain tables very nice so suppose i had a table like this i want bus to go on top what would you have done in spite of knowing shift alt up and down arrow you would have selected it then you would have cut it then you would have pasted it sometimes it get pasted properly sometimes it get pasted badly all sorts of things have happened correct yes or no yes would you have tried shift alt up and down arrow if i had not mentioned no but it works isn't that nice so where else will be used it now excel doesn't work before you ask me because excel is not a document it's a spreadsheet it is grid so this has a different connotation so it does not work in excel it works in anything which is paragraph oriented now you will try to use it in powerpoint so will it use it work in powerpoint yes but if you try to use it in a table in powerpoint it will not work because although table is a table from powerpoint's point of view it's a collection of multiple shapes so powerpoint looks at table differently and word looks at it differently so it does not work in powerpoint table anyway so it's not a big deal even if you don't know shift alt up down arrow is business going well you're growing in life profit aa raha hai kya farak padta hai chota mota cheez samajhne se that is the question nahi bhi chalta tha na abhi tak zinda hai koi problem nahi I can use Hindi, right? Is there anybody who absolutely doesn't understand Hindi? Right? So I can use Hindi, right? Which me? Okay. So while we are here, let me also show you some other irritating things in Word. You have taken any problem? What is the problem? Somehow, no, no. Size is not increased. why would you want to increase it it has come like that and when you paste it the width of word was not enough because you copy paste it from a web page or excel which had no worries about printing on a page word is always worried about printing so it is limited by page size margins this that so somehow it has gone out now we want to bring it in how do you do that hmm okay one person knows anything else everyone may have a different method so any other method come on everyone has faced this problem and you have found a solution so just tell me what solution you have found use landscape very nice what of it is there other any other right change the margins or whatever page width anything else select the column select the column and drag so if i have enough time maybe there are five more will come the issue is which one is the best and the more important issue is at a given person's level do we know all five no each person has found their favorite way of doing it inefficiently and they live with that inefficiency but if you actually do some research which nobody wants to do who wants to do research on office but anyway even if someone does a survey 
then they will realize in my organization the way people reduce the width of a table itself is variable you understand variability in a given situation everyone in the organization should work in a predictable way that's what we do policies procedures standard operating procedures guidelines audits all that why do we do because irrespective of who it is the situation should be handled in the most optimal way so that nobody is making mistakes nobody is wasting time do we not do that for everything in business at least attempt and it's never completely done we continuously do it but when it comes to office we never look at such variability jo karna hai karne do as long as kaam ho raha hai kya farak padta hai agreed so now farak padta hai isme se char mein se kaun sa acha hai many people don't know out of it so let me show you that click anywhere in the table now think this is a problem which two entities can solve should i solve it or should word solve it that is the first question you have to ask whose job is it to solve that problem word or me but most people except for two people were helping word word was not helping you understand the problem so what am i saying here i am i have not only told you just a big looking statement that everything we do is inefficient i am telling you something more now if you are convinced or if you want to be convinced that you are efficient you still have to cross check this thought so now we have to detect who is going to do it not anybody else there is no person who is going to sit behind you and say aisa mat karo aisa karo you have to do it yourself but you have no education specific knowledge on what is efficient or not because in a given situation how many method you know only one if you knew three methods you would have chosen the best one anyway but what i am saying is even if you know five methods all five may be wrong then you are now very paranoid correct so abhi what method i am using is it good or bad uska ek benchmark chahiye quick and easy without asking anybody no expert required so what is the benchmark that is what i am telling you whenever it feels like i am helping word or excel powerpoint that means your method is wrong because whose job is it it is not your job it is words or excels or powerpoint job if they are not helping you that means you don't know how to ask for their help that's why you are taking that extra trouble so from that point of view definitely word has to do this job so we have to go somewhere where word gives you options so table options are here what does it sound like is it a design problem or a layout problem yeah. very nice and if you go to layout it's not going to pop out saying kare oh sir you wanted this i am here i am here because there is no usb cable going between your brain and the machine maybe after few years it will happen but till now we have to inform what we want to that software so the only way of communicating with it is to read what it can offer and choose what sound usable so look at all the buttons and see what happens now she has already told you the answers so auto fit sound like an answer but in real life you'll have to take the trouble of going to a potentially useful place read from left to right top to bottom and think is this useful is this useful is this useful eliminate 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 so whatever remains even by process of elimination may be the right answer why am i saying this because it's so easy for me to show you this is the problem this is the solution that's called tips and tricks that doesn't work because tips and tricks in simple terms is called spoon feeding i am not here to do spoon feeding i am helping you do this yourself so i am giving you the thought process behind it so not only can you solve this problem you can solve thousand other problems because all these buttons here have been designed to solve some problem or satisfy some need now we have not discovered it fair enough but i am asking you to discover it at least when you have a problem try to discover it so if you look at it that way auto fit but it has three options now which one read 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 all now mind there are only three try all three ek to chalega na i am giving you very practical simple ways of learning correct so one of them will work now the word window is actually confusing window actually means a page that's a technical word called window but never mind auto fit to window works understand now this also has limitation although this is smarter than you thought 
it has some capability problems like it has to print on an A4 page either portrait or landscape so there is a physical limit to how much it can show so if you go to Excel and open something there and try to copy paste so much copy then come to word go somewhere else paste it obviously it's going to go out but now if you say out of fit it is trying to attempt to do out of fit but this is not going to make sense even if you do landscape it's not going to be readable so you have to understand the strengths and limitations of the software and then live within it simultaneously you have to also understand your strengths and limitations what you are good at you should do what that guy is good at they should do understand so if you match strengths things will happen currently we are matching weaknesses that's called inefficiency so anyway done happy now next what is the problem here this is already inside the page so koi problem nahi hai what is the problem here this is a description yeah. height to more hoga because data jyada hai ha to wo width ki baat ho rahi hai na height nahi isko kam chahiye isko kam chahiye isko jyada chahiye but when you create a table what a word does word doesn't know what you are going to write so if you create a table with three columns what is word going to do it is going to give three equal widths afterwards you are writing something correct and having written that now you want it to optimally use the width so what do we think now how will you do it uh abhi ka nahi main kal ka baat kar raha hu Without knowing out of it, what would you have done? Hey, इसको समझता नहीं मेरे को भी से, मेरे सब करना पड़ता है यार फिर मैं ऐसा करूंगा ज्यादा होएगा फिर अरे प्रॉब्लम हो गया थोड़ा ऐसा थोड़ा ऐसा पीपल आर पेड सैलरी फॉर दिस वर्ल्ड वाइड बराबर है और ऐसा चालीस टेबल है बड़ा प्रपोजल है ऐसे करते बैठो बॉस पीछे खड़ा है बॉस कुछ नहीं बोलेगा क्योंकि तो बॉस भी वही करता है कैसा बोलेगा chance nahi because when it comes to office nobody is boss everyone is bad so equality it doesn't matter developed country developing country exactly the same thing happens within microsoft campus also i have done training for people who do programming and create office i'm not talking microsoft employees who just do sales and marketing they are like any other user i'm talking about people who write code and write these products Why do they not know? Because that's a different reason. Don't feel very good कि उनको भी नहीं आता है मेरे को भी नहीं आता है That's a different reason. Why? Because there are thousands of people writing this product called Office. If I have written something here, suppose I have written file menu, उसमें जो होता है I'm the king in that. I might, I may have 15 PhDs and 20 uh, what do I say patents on what happens in file menu. You will never understand that, but from a depth perspective i am the king of that subject so if you say f9 in outlook and do send receive uske piche jo hota hai uske liye many people have spent their entire lives on how to optimize that those people are great only in that they will not know calendar kya hai they will not know pivot table kya hai because unka kaam hi nahi hai they are experts in something but as a user we cannot take that excuse because as a user you have to use all these products so we have to be good at all of them understand the concept Okay so now this is obviously not going to work and you shouldn't even attempt it because what is the first question you have to ask before doing any action i already told you what is that who is helping whom so if i am trying to do that obviously i am helping what is not helping so now we go to auto fit ek option to ho gaya abhi dusra kya bachta hai content na content ke hisab se karna hai ho gaya इट्स अ वर्ड प्रोसेसर इट्स को अक्कल है नाउ यू आर वेरी हैप्पी राइट वाई आर यू लाफिंग नाउ वॉट इज फनी इन दिस बट मेनी पीपल आर लाफिंग वाई आई वॉन्ट आस्क वॉट यू आर लाफिंग एट आई वुड आस्क यू हूम यू आर लाफिंग एट आई नो दैट सो आई एम जस्ट रबिंग इट इन सो एनी वे Now you will feel very happy that next time तो मेरा काम हो गया and your next time you will be extremely frustrated. Why? Because
Do you understand the problem now? You have said whatever I do, you auto fit to content. So, तुम content change कर रहे हो, वो auto fit change कर रहा है. Is that look looking nice? It's looking nice. So, what do we do? So, now the question is, when should I apply that setting? वो तो book में नहीं लिखा है. वैसे भी बुक पढ़ते नहीं है बट अगर बुक में गए तो भी बुक में क्या लिखा होगा इधर क्लिक करोगे तो ये होगा कब यूज करने का कौन लिखा है वो तो अपने ऊपर है सो व्हेन शुड वी डू इट व्हेन द टेबल इज एम और व्हेन यू ऑलरेडी फिनिश टाइपिंग एवरीथिंग एट द एंड बिकॉज तब तक यू डोंट बॉदर अबाउट द लेआउट वी फर्स्ट फिनिश द कॉन्टेंट देन बॉदर अबाउट फॉर्मेटिंग बट चलो बीच में हो गया तो नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू कीप इट लाइक दिस एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट इट टू ऑटो फिट ये जो हुआ अच्छा है मेरे लिए then there must be a method of telling this guy ki stop auto fitting now jo hai acha hai correct that's why there is a third option called whatever has happened i am happy with it don't trouble me now just keep it like that that is called auto fit to contents understand so it's not random collection of features there there is a story there is a thought process there is a need based thing behind it are you understanding now kitna thinking jata hai iske upar from whose side from people who are creating it from our side se kya thinking jata hai thinking hi nahi jata hai kyunki kaam to humko karna hai word to aise hi pada hai that is the issue so now this one like someone was saying iska height jata hai baki logon ka height kam hai to wo karne jaoge to kya hoga ऑब्वियसली इसमें दो रोज है इसमें एक रो है तो ऑब्वियसली हाइट तो अलग होगा बट यूनिफॉर्म दिखाना है तो क्या करेंगे फिर आइधर ये करो ऐसे बट दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी परफेक्ट सो वट वी डू प्रेस एंटर एंटर डोंट वरी अबाउट बॉस सो हु इज हेल्पिंग होम नाउ आर यू रियलाइजिंग वॉट आई एम सेंग so why am i showing so many examples so that it gets ingrained and when you are alone nobody else is there to help you you are going to help yourself so obviously this is words job but because this is words job there must be a method of increasing height or width which is in layout height and width width to theek hai height badhana hai but abhi height badhaoge to kya hoga because my cursor is in that row it is increasing only that row's height तो अभी वी विल थिंक कि अरे यार पूरा सिलेक्ट करेंगे ठीक है वो हो सकता है लेकिन फिर भी यू विल हैव टू डू लाइक दिस यू हैव टू कीप मॉनिटरिंग हाइट बढ़ रहा है बढ़ रहा है बढ़ रहा है बढ़ रहा है कभी साउंड यूजफुल नो इट विल वर्क बेटर देन व्हाट यू डिड बिफोर बट इज इट लुकिंग एफिशियंट बिकॉज देर इज अनदर बेंच मार्क ऑफ इन एफिशियंसी वट इज दैट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स डिड आई क्लिक ऑन दैट बटन मेनी टाइम्स रिपीटेशन मीन्स इन सिंपल this was repetitive so even if it works don't do it so there must be a better way what is a better way distribute rows likha hai isne but distribute rows itna complicated sentence hai ki kisi ne padha hi nahi kisi ne samajhne ki koshish nahi ki click karne ka to dur ki baat hai barabar so kuch samjhana hai to udhar jaane ka aur 1 second rukne ka wo bata da main kya karna cha raha hu so 1 second of patience is all that is required to explore Now you understand what it does. Now because we said distribute rows, is it a complete sentence or an incomplete sentence? Distribute rows of what? Obviously, कुछ तो है ना. So where are we? In a table. So implicitly it means distribute rows across the whole table. So because of that, you do not have to select the table. Because को मालूम है table तो कौन सा है? एक click में काम होता है. Understand? So what am I trying to tell you? earlier whatever we were doing it was not behaving the way we want because what we wanted and what we were asking it to do there was a gap between the two there's communication gap as we call it so this is good abhi ek hi problem reh gaya ki isme because the last row has two rows it looks full and these are hanging on top we want it centered vertically uske liye kya karna hai for this you will have to select the table go to layout and choose this option what does this mean align top left top vertically and left horizontally what do we want align center vertically and left horizontally so one click will solve the problem okay so that's that now another level of frustration and let me show you that did 
did you notice what I just did? There was a pin here. I pinned it. What does that mean? I need this file very often. Keep it there. So if you are working on a large proposal for next two months, every time you will have to search either kidar gaya upar niche. So pin it. Do you do it? Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. Fine. Now consciously think about it. Anyway, so coming to another problem, which is common. Don't worry. What is this? This row has broken across two pages. Nobody likes it. How do you put it in one page? There is no auto fit vertically, so it's not good. Hmm? Page break. Page to already break ho chuka hai. Remove what spaces from? स्प्लिट टेबल करते हैं कुछ लोग बराबर बट मोस्ट पीपल लाइक दिस इधर जाके एंटर द वर्क हो गया अभी ऑब्वियसली एक ही कॉलम का वो तो मालूम है हमको हमारे पास 17 कॉलम्स है मेरे पास बहुत टाइम है हो गया वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम कभी तो कोई तो एडिट करेगा ये वापस ऊपर आएगा फिर कुन्ना सा आएगा अरे इसको समझता नहीं है फिर मैं और सो नाउ वी आर नॉट इवन हेल्पिंग वर्ड वी आर वी आर एक्चुअली फाइटिंग बिकॉज यू आर फ्रस्ट्रेटेड ना इसको इतना भी छोटा सा चीज समझता नहीं है ऐसा लगा को बनाया और ऊपर से पैसा लेता है बराबर है कि नहीं तो किधर प्रॉब्लम है दिस इज कॉल्ड वॉट इज दॉट आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग बट दैट फिजिकल गैप आई एम सेइंग कम्युनिकेशन गैप कम्युनिकेशन गैप हाउ बिकॉज वी नो वॉट एग्जैक्टली वी वॉन्ट वी डोंट वॉन्ट दैट रो टू ब्रेक बट वी आर इवन नॉट इवन थिंकिंग ऑफ टेलिंग दैट टू वर्ड बिकॉज हमको लगता है कि इसको इतना सोफिस्टिकेटेड थॉट कैसे समझेगा ये तो डम सॉफ्टवेयर है वी आर नॉट इवन अटेम्प्टेड टू इवन थिंक कि उसको यह समझता होगा सो नाउ एज यू इसको समझता है तो कैसे बोलेंगे वापस इधर ही जाना पड़ेगा ले आउट या बट नाउ कुछ भी करके बोलेंगे कि ये रो को ब्रेक मत कर समझो देर इज सम सेटिंग इज इट इनफ बिकॉज इफ नॉट दिस रो सम अदर रो विल ब्रेक टू मोरो थिंग्स विल कीप मूविंग अराउंड वेन यू एडिट द डॉक्यूमेंट सो दिस टाइम वी हैव टू वॉट एवर वी हैव टू डू हैज टू बी फॉर द होल टेबल दैट मीन्स ऑल रो सो मिनिमम वी शुड सिलेक्ट द टेबल एंड देन थिंक किधर जाओ डिजाइन की ले आउट और कंफ्यूजन है तो दोनों में घूम के आना कहीं तो मिल जाएगा बट डिजाइन मीन्स फॉन्ट कलर बॉर्डर वी आर नॉट चेंजिंग दैट सो ले आउट सो अभी देखो रिमेंबर व्हाई वी हैव कम हियर फर्स्ट लुक एट ईच ऑप्शन डोंट गेट इमोशनली अटैच टू ईच ऑप्शन जस्ट थिंक मेरे काम के लिए लगता है कि यूजफुल की नहीं एंड एलिमिनेट वॉट रिमेन्स इज द एंसर आई एम शोइंग यू हैव द स्क्रीन बट आई वॉन्ट शो यू द रिमेनिंग स्क्रीन टू सेव टाइम द एंसर इज हियर Eliminate something which is completely irrelevant. What remains is your answer in this case. Split table is the wrong way of doing it. Do we want to split table? No. We want the table to be a table. If you split table now, you have trouble to manage two tables. Abhi ek hi ne dhang se ho raha hai, do kyu karte ho? क्या बचता है नॉट स्प्लिट ऑटो फिट नहीं ऑटो फिट ओरिजोंटल काम करता है वर्टिकल नहीं करता कौन कुछ तो बचता होगा यार प्रॉपर्टीज वेरी नाइस प्रॉपर्टीज टेबल का होता है रो का होता है कॉलम का होता है किधर जाना है रो में जाना है and then you will be surprised someone has thought about it do you want to allow do you want to allow row to break no so now we realize that what you wanted this guy knew it was just waiting for you to tell him ki boss aisa nahi chahiye theek hai nahi chahiye ho gaya baat khatam 
it will not split ever any row in this table now it doesn't matter how many paragraphs you put will never break unless you put such a big paragraph that it goes beyond one page then nobody can help which is okay that's acceptable so that's how everything has an answer so another one very often we write these kind of tables and then they go across pages and then the header doesn't come so what do we do very nice copy paste how many times मजा आ रहा है मजा तो आता ही नहीं है बट वी हैव लर्न कि मजा नहीं आने वाला है दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज वेन इट कम्स टू ऑफिस वी हैव गिवन अप बिकॉज दिस इनिशियली वेन यू लर्न इट इन कॉलेज मे हैव इरिटेटेड यूर लिटल बट देन यू सॉ एवरी वन इन द वर्ल्ड इंक्लूडिंग मी माई कलीग्स माई सबॉर्डिनेट माई बॉस माई कॉम्पिटिटर माई रोल मॉडल एवरी वन इज डूइंग कॉपी पेस्ट तो चलो मैं भी क्या है टेंशन नहीं करूँ सो दैट इज हाउ वी हैव गॉट इनडेटेड obviously this is word's job and somehow we have to tell this to word this is a layout problem dikh raha hai na aaj hi dikh raha hai problem wo hai 20 baras se padha hai bechara aur wo bhi dikh raha hai fayda nahi hai wo allow hi nahi karta hai click karne ko gray hai I know, but when we this one is allowing you to click, but it is useless. So, जो active है वो भी हम देखते नहीं है तो inactive की तरफ कौन देखेगा ऐसा है So, what is inactive? We have to think why is it inactive? When will it become active? Under some circumstances, it will become active when situation is right. Currently, situation is wrong because second row cannot become header. So, वो रुका है First row में डालोगे तो active होएगा एक click करने का काम हो गया ठीक है। एक्सेल आल्सो एज अ सिमिलर फीचर द एग्जैक्ट वे ऑफ डूइंग इट इज डिफरेंट यू गो टू द पेज सेटअप एंड डू इट बट यस टेक्निकली यस पावर पॉइंट डजेंट हैव एनी पावर पॉइंट हैज हेडर्स दैट इज इन मास्टर अंडरस्टूड सो हैव यू अंडरस्टूड दिस फीचर नाउ नाउ इफ आई एम आस्किंग अ क्वेश्चन ऑब्वियसली द ऑब्वियस एंसर इज रॉन्ग रिमेंबर दैट सो यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड दिस Why we not understood it? Look at it carefully. What is it saying? Repeat header. What? Rows means one or more. What did we do just now? Only one. What does that mean? ये Microsoft ने grammar गलती किया है कि हमने सोचा नहीं है. What is more likely? So we think. What does that mean? Multiple rows भी हो सकते हैं. But क्यों चाहिए multiple rows? For example, कभी-कभी ऐसा होता है. समझो ये मर्ज सेल है ओके देर इज अ टेक्निकल नेम फॉर द प्रोडक्ट एंड देन देर इज अ ब्रांड नेम फॉर द प्रोडक्ट अभी हेडर क्या है दोनों है ना तो अभी सिर्फ इतना ही सीखते थे तो ये करके फ्रस्ट्रेट होते थे क्योंकि टेक्निकल ब्रांड नेम नहीं आने वाला तो एस पढ़ना भी उतना ही इंपॉर्टेंट है understood the importance of the s so what is what it, what am i saying every small little thing written there has a meaning it is in our interest to find the meaning because who is going to benefit not microsoft you and when are you going to benefit not after 20 years now and how long is the benefit going to last lifelong so it's absolutely in our interest to do this so every small thing has a meaning purpose so what am i trying to tell you Why am I spending so much time on these small little things? Because it's not the features which I show you; it's the thought process which matters. And our thought process has been spoiled because of misusing Office for 20 whatever years. Whenever you got exposed to it first time, we will say, "Hey, itna sab nahi chahiye." Am I close? Ab suna? Nahi suna. Bolta hai aur deta hu next year, aur deta hu next year. Chahiye hi nahi kisi ko. Agar just give me. whatever little features i use don't add more because i don't know i don't want to know i don't need them i don't care remember so this is 2003 it had 7000 features in it if you count every button how many do we use 
इसमें कितना यूज करते हो तो एक्सेल है टू थाउजेंड थ्री नॉट ऑल डेफिनेटली परसेंट छोड़ो कुछ तो छोटा मोटा यूज करते हैं ना काम होता है तो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इज नॉट स्टॉपिंग एडिंग मोर बटन इन स्पाइट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट नो बडी इन द वर्ल्ड इज क्लिकिंग ऑन इट्स बोरिंग फ्यूटाइल एक्सरसाइज आई डोंट नो वाई दे एड यू ऑल्सो डोंट नो वाई दे एड सो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इज नॉट हेल्पिंग अस बाय रिड्यूसिंग द नंबर ऑफ बटन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड अ सोल्यूशन सो वी फाउंड अ ब्रिलियंट सोल्यूशन वॉट इज इट All of you have found it. So now tell me. देखने का ही नहीं उसकी तरफ बात खत्म और years we have learned not to look because तकलीफ होता है ना आंख को ब्रेन को आंख को नहीं होता है रेटाइना इज पावरफुल हो बहुत सारा लाइट गिरते रहता है नो बडी बॉदर्स करेक्ट इंटरप्रेट करने का नहीं लाइफ इज गुड एंड देन यू गेट न्यू वर्जन Just called upgrade. Upgrade means something should improve. और क्या होता है उसके बाद जो पहले का चार पांच बटन था वो भी नहीं मिलता इसमें चेंज्ड मेनू अभी है ही नहीं टूल बार पहले एटलीस्ट स्टैटिक था वो एक दो चार चीज तो सामने रहती थी जिंदगी भर वो भी नहीं अभी सो वॉट एवर लिटिल यू न्यू वी कॉन्ट गेट फ्रेस एंड देन यूर एंड वी कॉल then you hate the product and obviously you are not going to explore out of curiosity and excitement are isme naya kya are purana hi nahi mila naya kahan se aaya to chhod do then you will find it is happy happy so this is the thought process we have to break your work is happening i am not denying that so whatever you need you know i am not doubting that but what you don't know we have never thought about it in fact we have convinced ourselves ki jo nahi aata hai nahi chahiye khatam baat तो so, सीखने का टेंशन इन लाइफ करेक्ट सो दिस इज अ रॉन्ग थॉट प्रोसेस देर इज नथिंग लाइक अ यूजलेस फीचर पुटिंग वन बटन देयर इज अ वेरी कॉस्टली प्रोसेस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इज ऑल्सो अ प्रॉफिट मेकिंग कंपनी दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू वेस्ट मनी ऑन समथिंग व्हिच इज यूजलेस एग्रीड सो जस्ट बाय ट्रस्टिंग देयर कैपेबिलिटीज यू हैव टू से इफ समथिंग हैज बीन पुट देयर इट हैज टू हैव सम यूज आई मे नॉट नो व्हाट द यूज इज बट दैट डजेंट मेक इट अ यूजलेस फीचर That becomes an unexplored feature. Now, okay, ठीक है philosophy बताए आगे क्या I am not going to explore it. बात खत्म Why? Because we have also convinced ourselves कि who am I? I showed you different roles. Someone is IT, someone is HR, someone is consultant, someone is inventory, whatever. If you want to grow in your career, you will go deeper into your subject. Why should you waste time on office? That is also there. एक तो टाइम नहीं है और टाइम है तो अपना चीज सीखेंगे ना दूसरे इसमें क्यों टाइम मस्ट करना है सो हुए आई एम आई ओनली नीड टू नो बेसिक्स Isn't that the thought process? Advance baad mein zaroorat hi nahi hai mere ko advance ka. So because of that, what happens is uh, what happens because of this, we realize that advanced hai chhod dene ka. Now everyone in the world is saying advanced. So all those features nobody is looking at. So what do I mean by that? This is the wrong thought process. this is making us inefficient so next slide i am going to show you the right thought process so previous slide wrong thought process next slide right thought process so before we go into what is the right thought process wrong to right what should be there between the two slides from a powerpoint point of view pehle wala slide wrong next wala slide right between the two slides what should be there i'll give you a prize very nice who said that chalo no problem can someone do that this is the other one huh? so we got more gifts 250 rupees flipkart vouchers also okay so transition should be there that's how you decide transition kab dalna if there is something changing dramatically from previous to next then to visually endorse that fact you put a transition fair enough question 1 answered now the next question is which transition how many are there malum nahi so let's see 
by the way if transition has to be put between these two slides i have to actually go to the next slide and apply it what is the next slide don't classify basic and advanced first explore and then decide whether it is useful or not that's the thought process so now which transition if you go to transition itne sare hai by default none rehta hai so if you use none it will look like this ye wrong thought process hai ye right hai ekdam cut to cut maza nahi aaya beech mein what do we want to say this thought process is so bad that you should remove it from your brain completely and evolve a new thought process ye overnight nahi hone wala hai aise dikhane se kya hoga ek switch off ho gaya aisa lagta hai itna easy nahi hai wo 20 baras ka jo hai ek din mein nahi jane wala hai so that we want to show it may effort jayega how do we do that just make this background a little darker to show you so which transition to use that's the question i'm sure all of you have understood what is transition as a concept and maybe sometimes you have used some so many of them depends on which version of office you are using thoda bahut kam zyada hoga but itna to hai now the decision is which one to use and you cannot answer that question by reading what is written here because transition is a visual thing correct so unless you have seen what push does unless you have seen what fade does you will not be able to find the best one in this situation so i don't have time to show all but i will just show you couple of them so let's see fade which everyone knows but still this and it will fade but this happened too fast so we can change the timing of fade a duration 0.7 second bahut slow hua ab effort zyada hai lagana hai to 3 second mein karte hai dekhte hai kaisa hota hai see ye wrong slow liye aayega right better better than none but this is not showing This shows almost synergy. एक आराम से जा रहा है दूसरा प्यार से आ रहा है ऐसा नहीं है ना जिंदगी में ये बहुत गड़बड़ वाला चीज है उसको फेंकना है इट्स गोइंग टू टेक मोर एफर्ट दैट इज नॉट बींग शोन सो नाउ विच वन नेव माइंड यू आर नॉट सीन इट जस्ट लुक एट द डिजोल्व ओके डिजोल्व करते हैं अभी देखेंगे ठीक है थोड़ा चाइल्डिश लगता है सो लेट मी शो यू टू सेव टाइम आई विल शो यू टू विच फिट इन दिस सिचुएशन एंड देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई मीन सो अगेन दिस इज द रॉन्ग थॉट प्रोसेस यू हैव टू गेट रिड ऑफ दिस थॉट प्रोसेस फ्रॉम योर माइंड एंड फर्स्ट से आई विल एक्सप्लोर एंड देन डिसाइड वेदर इट इज यूजफुल और नॉट now does it make much better sense than anything you have seen now and another one which is nice which was only in 2000 this is 2013 the one i am showing you is 2010 it is called uh, vortex so remove this thought from your mind and form a new thought good both of them are okay But if your machine is slow, don't use this. It will be jerky because it uses GPU, and if your GPU is bad, it will not work. So everything has pros and cons. But the idea is, we have never taken the trouble of doing this simple exercise. What do you have to do? Go to two opposing slides. Doesn't matter. We are learning now. So first slide should be visually different than the other. Which slide doesn't matter because now we are learning the concept of transition and visually creating a vocabulary. That transition how does it work? Read it, not see it. visual memory is 100 times more powerful than words memory so now all that you have to do is takes 15 minutes of your precious life click on each cut is as good as none and click on preview so aisa hota hai fade preview aisa hota hai push preview aisa hota hai this one how long will it take to do 40 times maybe 10 minutes those 10 minutes are absolutely worth it because next time there is a need for a transition your brain has imbibed it and it will prompt you saying ye do mein se ek to chalega try karo and the more you use it the better you will be at it so this is called creating the vocabulary which is missing so just to show you some nice one while we are here see this if this was a positive thought i would have used this 
give some freedom, something like that. There is something called origami. Beautiful, but if you use the wrong place, it can have a completely wrong meaning. You should not use it here. See what is happening? Beautiful effect, but absolutely irrelevant here. So don't use transition because you like transitions. I'm sure you have seen presentations where some people like the concept of transition. They have fallen in love with transition. Forget the content. So what do they do? Slide me, jate, select all and random transition. Dal. So audience doesn't know what the next transition is, the presenter doesn't know what the next transition is. And as it is, presentations are boring, half the people are asleep and the remaining half which is awake is only wasting time or playing the game. Anyway, presentation is boring. Hai. Let's do a game of predicting next transition. Kya hai <laughs> Some method of keeping awake. So that's distracting, that is devaluing you, it's making it unprofessional. So don't use transitions just because you like them. Finding the right feature in the right place is called efficiency or attempting to at least find that is a thought process which will make you efficient. The absolute number of features you know versus someone else know, nobody is going to bother, nobody, there is no way of checking and it's not going to give you any rewards. The thought process is what counts. Okay, so with this in mind, let's do some more stuff now. Any questions? Break it, pehle paas minute bolna. Any questions? Anything you want me to repeat? Anything you don't like? You like? Increase the speed, decrease the speed, anything? All good? Are you learning? Okay. So let's do something else. Let's start with uh, what was the first preference you had? Excel, right? Okay. Okay. Let's start with Excel. Now all of you use Excel for different kinds of data, but there is some data. You can't do anything without data. So starting point in Excel is some data coming from somewhere. Fair enough. So let's look at what happens when there is data. When there is data, that's called input. You get it from somewhere. That somewhere could mean you type it or it comes from some system report or you purchase some database from somewhere, whatever may be the input ayakaise. And then we do something to it to generate some output. That output may be 20,000 rows of transactions summarized into a report which says what happened by month, by product, whatever. That's called summarization. Or we saw how we have done business for last uh, 12 months. We are forecasting how next three months will be. So whatever it is, you look at the input and try to find some meaningful output based on whatever the job is. Fair enough. But remember, input means what? Data kahin se to aaya? Someone typed it. It didn't just fall from the sky. They typed it directly in Excel or they typed it in ERP. It doesn't matter. Someone typed it somewhere. Or even if you bought from an agency, uska to call center mein kisne type kiya? The fact that it is already typed by someone means what? It is past, gone. Change nahi kar sakta hai. Generally. Correct? So why are we wasting so much time on something which cannot be changed? Fayda kya hai? The moment you see data, there is no undo possible. Undo about the fact which is being recorded is not possible. Data entry can be undone, but that's for a mistake. So past, jo change nahi kar sakte, uske upar kyo time waste karne ka hai. Fayda kya hua? We can't change the past, but so that to do what? And do what? Okay, वो मिल गया output. आपके में मिल गया कुछ समझा उसमें से आगे क्या? Agreed. So what is the objective of that analysis? Yes, you find some pattern. Yes, and then how are you using that pattern? You can't use it in past. Why are we using it there? Why are we analyzing? Why are we trying to find useful stuff? So that to improve the future. We may get right information and still do wrong decisions, but at least the attempt is to do better. Agreed? So all this effort which we put on data has nothing to do with past being changed because it cannot be changed. But all the effort is to learn as much as possible from past so that we improve the future continuously. So now looking at one piece of data, how many useful things are there in it? 
we don't know there is no number which says if this data there are only four useful things nobody says that so how do you know how many useful things are there suppose there are 17 useful things you look at only five of them and then you will act on those five correctly fair enough nothing wrong with that but you missed out on 12 or 12 be agar malum hota tha you would have acted even more better more informed whatever it might be so you have to be paranoid about past data why because if you miss something there what is going to happen you don't know about it so you're not going to act on it correct it may be bad news it may be good news it may be neutral news doesn't matter but each one of them has some future significance so if i find some region is doing low sales I'm not just going to keep quiet. I'm going to go and find out why is it doing low sales. And obviously I'll go there and solve the problem at least in future. But is that all I'm going to do? I'm going to see a region may is problem ki was se sale come hua. Let me proactively go and check other regions and say either as a problem I I should detect it early and let it be corrected before it affects sale. And then I'm going to teach that thought process to all the sales guys. So it's not only symptomatic relief we are looking at. We are learning doing symptomatic plus trying to learn generically so that things happen and maybe we will make that a standard practice next time onwards. That's how policies, procedures, guidelines, operating whatever SOPs as we call it evolve. Correct? So every useful piece of information from past at least we should attempt to find. We may or may not because it's infinite. If you sit on one data for two years obviously you'll find 20,000 things but you have only one hour. So within the limited period of time you have, how much you can gather useful information so that you can act on it better. Now there is one more problem. There may be hundreds of people in the organization. A given piece of data is analyzed by how many people? There is sales, there is HR, there is marketing, everything is there. Each one has 50 people, total 500 people suppose. So sales people have 10 sales people. Are those 10 sales people looking at the same sales data and analyzing or different? It has to be different, right? They will analyze their own data. So if someone makes a mistake there and misses out on something, it's not going to affect only that person. It is going to affect everyone else because nobody else even has the opportunity to find that person missed. Correct? Because what do we do? We get raw data. Someone analyzes it, then sends a report to one or more people, typically more than one person. But those people assume ki jo aya hai, utna hi hai. Nobody is going back to the raw data and reanalyzing it. Barabar. So whatever that person did, that person is the only person who has the opportunity of finding everything from the data. Nobody else has that. And generally that person is junior. Do you agree? Yes or no? Do juniors create reports and send to seniors or not? And do seniors go back and say, nahi, tera report bajo, ko raw data de mein bait nahi hota hai na. Why? Because apparently senior people's time is more valuable. Correct? So if one person misses something, everyone in the organization is going to miss it. Do you understand the significance of that? So the attitude which everyone must have to find every useful piece of information so that it can affect them and everyone else positively. That thought process is called business intelligence. BI, have you heard that jargon? So behind every jargon there is some sense. Normally the sense is never told, only the jargon is told. That's called IT. <coughs> so finding every useful piece of information from available information is called business intelligence and everyone should be good at it. Not only few people or analysts or only boss or only subordinate has nothing to do with it. So with this in mind, let's see how data comes. You got some data. What is your job? Obviously to make use of it. To do that, you have to do analysis. But do we directly go look at the data and create analysis or beach mein kuch karna padta hai? Hmm? हाँ ठीक है बट डेटा आया देखा उसको इमीडिएटली एनालिसिस मिलेगा तो कुछ मेहनत करना पड़ता है बीच में व्हाट इस दैट मेहनत कॉल्ड बगिंग नहीं वर्किंग तो ठीक है हाँ फॉर्मेट फॉर्मेट में क्या प्रॉब्लम है बस जो डेटा आया उसमें इनफॉरमेशन है बट इस नॉट इन द राइट मैनर इन विच यू वांट इट so, usko clean karo, usko ulta rows of column karo, combine multiple sheets, ye sab gandagi karna padta hai ki nahi? 
दैट इज कॉल्ड क्लीन अप ठीक है सो इफ यू गेट डेटा यू हैव टू क्लीन अप एंड देन यू विल डू द यूजफुल जॉब एग्रीड सो नॉर्मली क्या होता है इफ यू लुक एट द वे वी डू इट हाउ मच टाइम इज स्पेंड ऑन द एनालिसिस एंड हाउ मच टाइम इज स्पेंड ऑन द क्लीन अप लॉजिकली यू शुड स्पेंड मैक्सिमम टाइम ऑन वॉट ऑन क्लीन अप Unless you are a clean-up outsourcing agency and that's your revenue model, absolutely. But otherwise, obviously, we should be spending more time on the analysis. But invariably, you spend more time on the clean-up. We can't avoid it because ये करेगा नहीं तो ये आता ही नहीं है. So we give up. So this is called inefficiency. And because that data is forcing you to be inefficient, we give it a name. We call it bad data. simple term if you require clear up that means the data is not good take care if you get data which does not require clean up and you can directly analyze which is rare but does happen sometimes that can be called as good data fair enough and how many types of bad data are there you have enough experience with bad data so tell me lots of them correct it's only limited by human inefficiency so lots of bad data formats but fortunately for us how many good data formats are there very nice at least wishful thinking you should say one and you are right one so shall we give him some prize yes see uh, we can ask him actually yeah. we have a flip card voucher we have some glass looking thing and we have something else which is soft i have not opened it so i can't tell you what it is choose No prize. No, no. We have to give a prize. If you don't choose, I choose. Okay. So most generic one. So you can probably buy a book. Okay. So unfortunately, this is good that there is only one good format. That's a good concept. But what is the bad part about it? We don't know what is that good format. So the whole thing about it is finding. what is good format this is called good format if it looks like a table then it is a good format everything else is bad format why because if the data is tabular then converting it to useful information is the easiest with zero amount of clean up effort that is why tabular data is good tabular means what simple heading and data any number of columns any number of rows but consistency title should tell you what is going to come below simple and easy so from it point of view it's like a database table this is good but this can easily become spoiled correct why is the problem here data is not consistent if you expect a date put a date don't put text if you expect region don't put regional manager's name if you want to put regional manager name then say are sabka nahi hai sirf iska hai fir bhi ek column dalo aur usme dalo बाकी एम टी रहने तो चलेगा सेम वे हियर स्टेटस शुड नॉट बी अ पार्ट ऑफ डिलीवरी अमाउंट वॉट इज नथिंग टू डू विथ इच अदर वन कॉलम वन मीनिंग वेरी सिंपल रूल जितना कॉलम बनाना है बनाओ कोई प्रॉब्लम सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड है अपने पास ठीक है सो दीज आर द रूल्स जस्ट रीड दैम एंड एम बाइव दैम common sense no complicated stuff is this clear any questions on this okay Sir, yes no much self only ah no much self kya ko chahiye much self much self output mein lagta hai input mein kabhi nahi lagta output mein kyu lagta hai because let's say you got data like this let me so let's say we got data like this date of transaction product amount and region let's say something like that and different north west east south kuch to hai amount to amount hai product char paanch hai and dates hai this is raw data jitna bhi transaction ho is going to grow vertically the output of this you may want like this you may want north and south and east and west on one side 
and you may want product 1, product 2, product 3, correct? This is an output. Now, because this and this is called zone 1, you may want to merge the cell and call it zone 1. But this is not input, this is output. So many times you must be now realizing that what you get as input itself has the characteristics of output and that means your life has already become miserable. So one of the commonest things, mistakes done in the world, whether you like it or not, is input is actually output. And we don't decipher the difference and we continue. Abhi input aise hai to kya karenge? Majburi hai bolke. We continue this. And now this will come from zone 1, zone 2 and 5 countries and then you have 5 such sheets and they are struggling to put all sorts of weird formulas. And there also someone will put north here, someone will put north here, then even more problem. Someone will put P4 here because of product 2 bechta hai nahi hai wo country mein or region mein. All sorts of things will go wrong. But if the data was like this, nothing will go wrong. Of course this does not have zone. But that we can do using VLOOKUP or something else. Understood? This doesn't have months, we can convert that in pivot table. So raw data should be as raw as possible, everything else can be derived from it. But even if you want to put something to do with zone, put it as a column. Understood? Another problem which I have not put in the PowerPoint presentation which is very important is this. Let's say this was my data. Just to make it simpler to understand, I am going to put or remove all the formatting for the time being just pasting it without any formatting okay suppose this was my data and this was about orders which are being shipped many times you will see as a colorful cheese hota hai. have you seen colorful data aisa isko yellow hoga ye teen aise purple honge eh? ye green hoga Kyo aara hai ye sab? This is not to make it look good. It's not just a aesthetic formatting. This ka matlab hai koi. Kya matlab hai? Woh joh color dal raha hai, usko malum hai. Darab? Aur ajubaju wala ko bhi malum hai, because they work together apparently. So kya color? This means shift. This means custom mat ka hua hai. This means we don't know where it is. Whatever it might be. Now, the meaning of this color is only in people's minds. That is the problem. So, in this case, what should you do? And this can become even more. Abhi green ka matlab, something at least you know. Take a I have copy kiya ye. Aur data dikha ne ke liye kidar to dusri jaga paste kiya. I will just paste it in another Excel sheet. Unfortunately, someone else made that Excel sheet. See what happened? Jo green tha, abhi lal ho gaya. Abhi mai khud confused ho gaya. Understood? I did not change the color. While copy pasting the color changed automatically. That's the most frustrating thing which happens. It started happening only when the upgrade to 2007 happened. It's a downgrade actually because nobody understood why it happened. Nobody bothered to find out. I will tell you why. But it changed the meaning. Forget about the frustration and copy paste. If red had another meaning, you will misinterpret it and have business impact. So what is the primary problem here? What is the meaning of this? Whatever the meaning is, let's say this was called status. So status should be a column, not formatting. Formatting is not a substitute to meaning. Meaning must be in a column. Remember that. After putting something there saying ye whatever pending hai, ye shift hai, whatever it is. Once you have put that, then you can use conditional formatting to say if there is shift then make that yellow. That is a different thing. Based on content, we are deciding formatting. That is absolutely allowed. But formatting cannot be a substitute to information. That is what I am saying. Understood? Very common problem. Alright, so let's go back to our good bad data stuff. So far is it clear? So that's what I was telling you. Why no merge cells? Because very often we capture data as input in the format in which we want the output and then we get completely stuck and make our life miserable. For example like this, this is attendance data. Everyone, even if you are not from HR, you know this is attendance data. 
it looks like columns are there, headings are there, but this is absolutely bad data. Why? What is our rule? Columns होना चाहिए है Column में heading होना चाहिए है But सब में है ये heading है ये तो data है When data comes in place of heading, that means life has gone miserable. Understood? So what will we do? इसको 31 column कॉलम बनाएंगे बराबर इज इट अ डेट नॉट इवन अ डेट नंबर डालेंगे बिकॉज दैट्स ईजियर एंड देन वेर इज द डेट इज नो डेट इट्स अ नंबर सो विच मंथ विच ईयर किधर लिखा है यू नो शीट में लिखेंगे जैन और फाइल नेम में लिखेंगे 2014. फिर फेब में ये शीट कॉपी पेस्ट करके तीन कॉलम उड़ाएंगे फिर डेटा उड़ाएंगे फिर हाथ से पी एच डालेंगे करेक्ट दैट इज बैड Why? Because heading is now mixed up with data. The correct format for capturing information of attendance is this: employee ID, date, and status. Three columns look bad. कितने भी employee हो, कितने भी months हो, कितने भी year हो, tension नहीं लेते. Of course, if you read one more uh, one million rows, खत्म हो गया. क्या करने का बोलता हूँ. उसका भी answer है आज के. Idea is good data always grows vertically, never grows horizontally. That means it's good. ना वो भी प्रॉब्लम है चलो सबको सिखा दिया एंड हर एक लोकेशन नहीं ऐसे डेटा भेजा तो हम क्या बोलते हैं अभी सबको कंबाइन करना है तो अलग अलग चार फाइल आया एक शीट एक शीट एक शीट अगेन बैड डेटा व्हाई बिकॉज सुनर और लेटर यू हैव टू डू एनालिसिस बाय रीजन और प्लेस और लोकेशन एंड एनी विच इज इन शीट नेम और फाइल नेम के नॉट बी एनालाइज ओनली थिंग्स विच आर इन कॉलम्स नीड टू बी एनालाइज so even if everyone is sending you good data this is region 1 file that is region 2 file when you get it don't put it like this you want to put it in one column again one cohesive sheet but the problem is if i got this data from region 1 if i copy paste region 2 below this then i am losing out kaun sa region kidhar hai mix up ho gaya that's why the correct idea is whatever is in sheet name becomes a column name so now first शीट आया उसको एक कॉलम हाथ से डालो बॉम्बे बोलो दिल्ली आया कॉपी पेस्ट करो इमीजिएटली दिल्ली डालो नो प्रॉब्लम देन लाइफ इज गुड देन एवरीथिंग कैन बी एनालाइज्ड सो देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ टेम्पटेशन व्हिच विल एंड अप इनटू बैड डेटा वी हैव टू रेजिस्ट दोज टेम्पटेशन ओके दिस इज फाइनेंशियल डेटा विच इज द वर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ डेटा फ्रॉम अ इनपुट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस इज एन आउटपुट So let me explain what I mean by that. So what is the typical kind of data we get? Financial. Many uh, accounting software applications also give you this kind of output. I have made a subset. What is wrong with this? Tell me. You know the rules now. Everything should be in columns. Every column should have a heading. इसको हेडिंग नहीं है चलो कुछ तो लिखते हैं जीएल कोड आइटम जो भी लिखना है ओके नाउ इज इट गुड व्हाट इज दिस हेडिंग और डेटा डेटा सो ये गलत है द हेडिंग शुड हैव इन ईयर ठीक है एक प्रॉब्लम हो गया दूसरा रॉ डेटा शुड नॉट हैव हॉरिजॉन्टल कैलकुलेशंस कैलकुलेशंस आर डन इन आउटपुट नॉट इन इनपुट ओनली कैलकुलेशन वेर अलाउड टू डू इज एडेड कॉलम्स so if you have three columns amount discount and sales tax and you want net amount this minus that minus that you can add a column and do it but region wise total idhar nahi dalna that will come in the output raw data should not have any horizontal calculation so ye total idhar aana hi nahi chahiye first of all theek hai abhi what is wrong with this column item hai sab items hai but do you remember i said formatting should not indicate meaning Now this is bold. This is not bold. This is left aligned. This is indented. What does that mean? This is the main item. This is sub heading. This is sub sub heading. That means hierarchy is there. Three level ka hierarchy. Three level ka hierarchy means how many columns need? Three columns need. One doesn't need. So the correct way for this data is like this. Whatever category, sub category, sub sub category. Look at what was there. What was this sources of funds? Sources of fund में दो सब टाइप थे शेयर होल्डर फंड तो अभी क्या हुआ सोर्सेज ऑफ फंड शेयर होल्डर फंड दो टाइम आया एंड शेयर कैपिटल एंड रिजर्व एंड सर्विस ये रिपीट हो रहा है चलेगा ये भी रिपीट हो रहा है चलेगा रिपीटेशन इज ओके विथ रॉ डेटा रिपीटेशन इज बाउंड टू हैपन एंड दैट इज ओके डोंट वरी अबाउट इट 
and then what do we have a column called year and then we have a column called amount this does not look like the way you want the final output i agree input is not supposed to look like output that's why it is called input so don't make input look like output input should look like a table irrespective of what your output requirement is that's the idea but this is not so simple abhi ek company ka aaya suppose char group company hai sab ka hi aisa aayega aisa acha bhi aaya to kya hoga isko copy paste dusra ek niche karenge to gadbad hai so what should we do now if it is a multi company balance sheet what should we do add a column here and give company name before it gets mixed up with any other company and then i'll just call it company 1 and then next company ka data aaya which i will just put the same thing right now as soon as you copy paste it here before you get confused put different company name now because i copy pasted it what is going to happen the numbers are going to be exactly same but i will just change them 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 don't worry about how i'm doing it this is just a random number generation equation so now that we have got data of course you want the output like this i'm not doubting that this is how we are supposed to look at financial statements you are used to it absolutely so now we will cover pivot table later but i will show you if the data is in good format how easy the consolidation is now imagine if this was one company's data and this was another company's data and there were five others the amount of effort you would put to consolidate it because it's not that everywhere third row is going to be share capital somewhere there will be up down somewhere there will be this that spelling mistake you will get confused so if you hard code saying the second third row is always share capital you may get wrong results and if because you know this is going to happen you will waste time in copy pasting things in the correct order that is also inefficiency so now that we have got this i will give you that output in very short period and just to show you how long it takes we will count it so with pivot table what am i going to do first i will put category so it shows me the category there is only one right now sources of funds what are the sub categories what are the sub sub categories this is what you wanted and then you wanted it broken down by year fine and then we wanted it totaled so this is the amount and you wanted it grouped by company or combined by company which has already happened if you want to split it by company you can put company in filter area this is both companies together if you want to see only one company's results or the other company's results so we got not just improved time saving but we also got more capability which was difficult to do earlier not only that we can convert this to percentage if you like and see it in a more meaningful manner which you would not have been able to do if you had hard coded those some formulas understood so we will see this later but bottom line have good data then half the problems in life are solved now there may be some other reasons why bad data comes so let me show you a common variation of bad data is this good or bad each column at least has a proper heading that part is good this also looks like okay abhi idhar number nahi hai theek hai but ye kya hai gadbad hai this number is genuinely missing which is okay this is part of data but these gaps are not genuinely missing gaps these are convenience gaps jisne type type kiya ho bola teen bar kyun join karo to isliye chhod diya theek hai agar zindagi bhar usko dekhte rehna tha to sabko samjhega koi problem nahi hai ki everyone knows this means jan and this means feb but excel ko nahi samajhta if you sort it all will get combined so now before you fill these gaps nothing is going to proceed that is called clean up So that you will spend time doing how will you do that so whenever i ask such questions remember one more sentence when it comes to office very simple rule That itself will make you efficient because जो first आता है उसको discard ही कर दो सोचने भी नहीं उसके बारे में 
so whatever came to your mind is wrong because not wrong in the sense it will not work it will work but maybe after 1 hour 20 hours right now it's small data so it doesn't matter which method you use because anyway ek minute mein hone wala hai but if this was 20000 rows it can make a difference between those 2 minutes can suddenly become 4 hours so that's another benchmark of inefficiency what is that if data is small kam time lagta hai but if data is large this means your method is wrong understood so whatever you thought is wrong now tell me sometimes this data comes like this with, because of a very specific reason it has been copy pasted from somewhere where has it been copy pasted from i'll give you a price sorry something in excel i'm talking Yes, who said pivot table? Kya chahiye? What do you want? This one? Okay. You can take all three, you can choose there. <laughs> so this is, of course this can happen because someone did data entry and obviously they didn't want to waste time typing Jan and Jan again, which is genuine. But very often this happens because we copy pasted this from a pivot table and pivot table essentially leaves these gaps. But very often we select all copy and paste as values and that's when it happens. So if this is happening from pivot table and if you have that pivot table with you, the problem is very easily solved. What do you do? You go to pivot table, you'll see analyze and design. This is a design issue. You go to report layout and say repeat all item labels. So in one click pivot table will fill it. Okay. So if it is a pivot table oriented problem, there is a one click solution to it. If it is not a pivot table oriented problem, there is a slightly lengthier but still efficient solution. So what do we now need to do? Somehow fill the gaps, but not by doing anything repetitive. So if you had thought hum drag karenge, wo drag to pehle chalne wala nahi hai because wo over smart hai, wo feb march dalega. Phir hum bolenge wo frustrate karta hai, undo karenge, phir hath se copy paste karenge. Yeah, control D sub karega, but wo har ek gap ke liye wapas karna padega. That means repetition, repetition means inefficiency. That much we know now. Ha, very good. Formula dalna is a good idea, but problem kya hai? Formula to chalega. लेकिन इसको कॉपी करके दुनिया भर फेस्ट करना पड़ेगा सो सो ओके लेट मी एक्सप्लेन So whatever you are saying is right, but it is repetitive. So yes, you are right, formula is correct, but where to paste the formula? I cannot select everything and paste, then what will happen? Gadbad hai, wo blank mein dalna hai sirf. Toh blank select karne ko bhi toh time lagega na sir? Aad se. Yes. What is that feature called? I'll give you a price. Now usme kya? F5 mein toh bhoj cheez hai. Very nice. Who said that? De do, de do, price. चल जल्दी जा रहा है है ना अपने पास है ना वेरी गुड सो ऑब्वियसली ही नोज द आंसर हु एल्स नोज द एफ फाइव आंसर नो बडी सो आई लव टू एक्सप्लेन सो नेवर माइंड इवन इफ यू डोंट नो द आंसर वी नो दैट इफ आई हैव टू सिलेक्ट ब्लैंक सेल्स लाइक दिस एंड लाइक दिस एंड लाइक दिस एंड लाइक दिस लाइफ लॉन्ग even if my boss is also doing the same thing even if i am getting paid salary for this do you really want to waste your precious life doing this that is a question we have to ask ourselves it is not for anybody else it is for you correct you want to grow in life correct you have shortage of time you have opportunities you know what to do but you have shortage of time and whatever little time you have we are wasting here so this love sounds like absolutely dirty work isn't it even if i'm paid for it i don't want to do it yes or no but someone has to fill the gaps and this seems to be the best way of doing it so if there is dirty work if you understand you are i am using very simple words sometimes people like complex words
वट शुड यू डू एलिमिनेटेड बट एलिमिनेट तो नहीं किसी को तो करना ही है वी बी ए वो सबको प्रोग्रामिंग नहीं आता है सो दिस वर्क हैज टू बी डन बट यू आर नॉट विलिंग टू डू इट सो वॉट शुड यू डू वन वर्ड नो नो एग्री बट कंसेप्चुअली एम सिंग In this case, Excel, but it could be something else. Just think of no, don't think of word word Excel, PowerPoint. In business, if you have something which has to be done, but you are not interested, it's not your core area. Challenge हो गया बट जरूरी है. Yes, very nice. So whenever you notice you doing dirty work, think can I outsource it? Obviously you can't outsource it to another agency. That's when, as I rightly said, outsource it to whoever is the product, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. So now we need to find a method. कि मैं ऐसे गंदा एक-एक करके सिलेक्ट कर रहा हूँ. Maybe Excel is capable of doing it faster than me. So now we have to say कहाँ जाऊँ? And to save time, I have to show you the right answer. We have to go to we are what are we doing selecting something so find and select we find select idhar to empty chalta hai but there is a better way go to special bol ke ek cheez hai usme bolega blank so now we say okay excel selected all the blanks in one stroke so what we are bad at excel is good at that's why i said our weakness and excel strength matches now so we are using the correct way the problem is now i have to put a formula equal to whatever comes on top but if i press enter where is the formula going to go only in that cell i want it to go across cells so uske liye aur ek piece of knowledge chahiye if you select something and type something here it will only go into that cell and then the cursor will move to the next cell we don't want that we have selected everything already whatever i am typing should go everywhere so what do you do type whatever you want and then press control enter very good Not shift, control, enter. That's an array formula. That has nothing to do with this. This is a quick shortcut. जो भी टाइप कर रहा हूँ, across selection डालो. Control, enter. So now we know the correct way of doing it. What do we do? Who said control, enter? By the way, I think तुम उधर ही center में कहीं बैठो. So select all the data which needs to be repaired. Please notice, I am not selecting the numbers. Do you understand why? If you are in a hurry and you selected all the numbers, what will happen? The non-existent values where business didn't happen will get copied the upper one. So you have to be careful. So select only the offending columns. Go to special blanks. Then type the formula, which is simple, equal to whatever comes on top, and control enter. That's how you fill the gaps. This is still not done because if I sort on this now, all the formulas will get confused. So as soon as you finish doing it, immediately copy this and paste special as values. Then the job is done. So now coming back to our benchmark, if small data also takes less time and large data also takes less time, that is a benchmark of having found efficient method. Because now the dirty work is outsourced, so your effort is not increasing. So it's important to know benchmarks for finding inefficiency, and equally important to know benchmarks for having found the best method. Because what will happen? Suppose you were detecting inefficiency, and you found a method which you were using, which takes one hour to do something. You put effort, found another method, better than before, but it takes 40 minutes. Then you apply this benchmark. If the data grows, is that 40 minute going to increase? That means still I have not found the best method. I continue to search more and more till I find the best. Fair enough. So that's how basically bad data should be converted to good data. Now another issue, 45. Now we'll I think we'll take a break now. 40. Are things ready? Ready? Okay. So we will take a break at this time. But before we take a break.